All right, February 29th, back out here, found that trifecta. Um, it's a cool find. I was wishing it was American, but Australian large scent, large penny. They don't have scents, they got pennies. But it's a 1943. I found one like this, uh, I think a 40 something, over by my house one time. Awesome, I'll take it as first find today. That's cool as crap. Thanks for looking happy hunting. Bye for now. All right, been a while. I got that um, rue penny, and I got a, a, a key, and finally a wheat penny, but finally thought I was digging another penny signal, and it's a Merc. So silver 21 for the year. Yay! And <laughs> yeah, JB's out here, he joined me out here, see if he can find him something. 41, another 41. Yeah, I rubbed it. I hit it anyway, so I think I did, because I was I just thought it was a penny. Uh, thanks for looking. Happy hunting. Bye for now. Sure. All right, James finally got something. It's an Indian. He don't want to rub it, but he got to before it dries out. Cause it dries out, they'll usually pull everything right off of it. Oh yeah, eighteen something. Hang on here. Hang on a second. Get back. I gave you a little toothpick action. I don't know if it's see. I can't see. The sun's going in and out, so. Let's see, you might be able to see that better here. Yeah. $18.99. Friggin' awesome. About 10 plus 6. Congratulations. Thank you. Told you it's out here. Ooh, what's <laughs> out here? <laughs> Thanks for looking. Good luck. Happy hunting. Alright, here's my kind of trash wrap up for the day. I do rather wrap up and I get it cleaned up. Got two. I've always been told they're like squeeze box reeds or some musical instrument reeds, whatever they are. Um, bullet casing, some other usual trash. One head stamp. Got another key. Got um, ten memorials, two nickels, one sixty something. I don't remember what the other one was. Clad dime, and I got four wheat pennies. So we'll check them all later and get everything cleaned up. And I'll get back to the rest. Thanks for looking happy hunting. Alright, do a video wrap up. Today's hunt. Out with JB Express, James. Four wheat pennies. We saw them. There's a 44, 51, 51D, and a 53D. Got a key. You saw that. Uh, missing its teeth. Um, it's old Ford key. There's the rue penny I found. 1943 Australian kangaroo penny. Something's all over the front of George. So I think it's concrete. It won't come off. <laughs> um, silver 21 for the year. 41 mercury dime. Saw that one in the field. And don't like no mint. Don't like no trace of mint down there. But it's worn. I'll take it. So that's awesome. And then James, he got his uh, 1899 Indian head. First Indian of the year for him, too. Uh, and, and I think it's only his second ever Indian. Now it's over at his house. James does coin carving. J JV's Creations. Some people know him. And uh, I've been getting into it. I use his engraver. And created that one. It was on the back of a old uh, state quarter. I initialed it. Uh, but made that. That'll be going up on eBay. I'll put a link in there if anybody's interested. Um, sold a couple. I don't sell them for big money like he does and some other people do. But hey, that's cool. That's I like that. His, I use a Dremel at home. I don't have money for it when fancy engravers, pneumatic engraver. Um, but do what I can. And then when I'm over at his house and I got time, he lets me use his, his stuff. But thanks for looking at Happy Hunting. Bye for now.
I am freaking speechless right now. Come back over here. I put the 17 inch coil on the CTX. This place is so old. I knew there had to be something good and deep. I got a deep choppy 1240, 1241 on a CTX. It was hitting 10, 12 inches. CTX, you know, 17 inch quotes off a little bit. I dug a massive hole and just took everything out and was searching it. Bam, first ever seated dime. My first seated ever. Holy freaking cow. Let me clean it up and I'll get back to you, man. Give me a minute. All right, second find of the day. Um, about five and a half inches deep. A little cool button. Little dude fishing. I don't know. I don't think it's too super old. Pretty cool. Get cleaned up. Check it out more later. Thanks for looking. Happy hunting. Bye for now. All right, it's a little bit teeny button or whatever. It's got some fancy on it. Got it. It's a signal I usually don't always dig. With. I know buttons can come up there, so I'm digging them here. But it's teeny. It's got a weird back on it. I don't know if it's a button or what. That's cool. And it was saying it was 12 inches down, but I don't think it was quite that much. It was just in a pile of loose crap when I dug it all out. That's teeny. 17 inch coil, pick that out. Strong, hard hitting signal. It's cool as crap. Thanks for looking at Happy Hunting. Bye for now. Alright. Going after pretty much anything. Go key. Uh, key 5, I think. 4 or 5, something like that for a year. It's cool. Another key. Something. Something besides some trash. Thanks for looking at Happy Hunting. Bye for now. All right, something a little unique. Nothing, no good metal or nothing. A little U.S. military pin. Still got a little pin on the back. That's cool. It's about, only about four inches down. Thanks for looking happy hunting. Bye for now. All right, this grave right here wasn't really that deep, about four or five inches down. It was encrusted in a, almost like asphalt, but I don't know, it wasn't really. I didn't know what it was, if it was going to be a weed or not, but I saw the back there. It's an Indian. Gave it a little toothpick. It's either 1899 or 1898. I had to check it when I get home. See if I can get some more of this junk off there. It, it's, it's toast. But there's my seated. I don't remember if I showed that. 1877 seated. First seated ever. No mint. She's worn, she's slick, but that's awesome. I had a, I'm having a great day. That's, I mean, got a couple buttons. Nothing else really spectacular. But hey, heck, with that seated, I'll take it. I'll let James or somebody else, if Rob comes here, let them find it. Uh, I'm still going to look, though. <laughs> Thanks for looking. Happy hunting. Bye. For All right, doing a little wrap up over here at JB's house. Get everything dumped out and checked. My variety of trash and doodads and whatnot. Salt, pepper, shaker, something like that. A couple shotgun shells. Uh, newer one, and this one's older one. It's Winchester Ranger. I think those are really old, number 12. And I got a newer one over here. It's a 12 gauge. It says newer, so it says gauge. Uh, one little button thing. There's that little teeny button with fancy on it my little button with fisherman on it and technically oh oh yeah and my key and i think this could be i look at the experts opinions a musket ball is roundish um it's old white patina i can't tell if it was a bullet or not i'll try to weigh it at home for people that know what they weigh and all that crap it's not not like massive but i don't know what it is and yeah, my key and the finds got a 20 all i can see is a two wheat 
So I got a trifecta and pennies. I got actually a quadfecta. I got the Indian and it's 1898 Indian. Then I got a then I got the wheat penny. I got a 67 copper penny and I got some zinc pennies. Hey, that's a quadfecta and pennies. And the find of the day, 1877 seated dime. It's worn as crap. But it's my first seated ever. So I can get over here in the shadows here. See her on her beauty. So pretty. So pretty. Awesome. I was so shocked. But JB got change some buttons yeah, he didn't you can see your little pop thing over there. a couple bullets a junker ring he got a little boy scouts pendant pin thing uh the navy anchor pin or button and it's a little silver charm somebody's initials on it and so he did get a piece of silver a couple more little buttons 10k yeah, his little gold filled 10k ring over here a key some other little thing with some fancy on it. And there's all the coins they got there. Not much. <laughs> but Rob didn't get Rob joined us and he didn't get nothing either. So Alright, well yay for me. Oh yeah, and there's my little US pen on the back too. Yay for me. Thanks for looking. Happy hunting. Get back to you and get everything cleaned up. Bye. All right, here's everything cleaned up of mine. You know, it's worth it. <laughs> right there, pretty much all the good finds, or cool finds, whatnot. Got this key, it's like key four, for here. It's the best lock. It's cool. Uh, State of Georgia, do not duplicate. That's an old, that'd be a post office box key, an old one. It should be. Yeah, for state of Georgia, do not duplicate. That's yeah, that's cool. So that's cool. And here's the. Let me get my scale over here on my bench. Let's see, anybody knows? Hang on, bear with me. Let's see here. Here's that musket ball thing, whatever chunk of lead. It is 15.9 grams. So if anybody knows if that's a an actual musket ball or not, I don't have my calipers out here. They need a battery anyway. But I mean, it looks like it's been look right there, been down a barrel, smooth barrel. But I ain't sure. There's that. This is the old shotgun shell head stamp. Winchester Ranger number 12. So that's an old one. Made in USA. That button thing again cleaned up. My cool little fisherman button. I don't know how old that is. Ain't no back mark or anything. But that's cool. Uh, my one wheat. Still looks like I need to check out my microscope, but looks like it's 1920, maybe, maybe 20. Uh, um, Indian head is 1899. That was 1898, 1899. Looked at the microscope. Got a close up of it. Right there, you can see it. He's toasted. It was in like concrete or asphalt or something. Something was stuck to it good and I thought it was a wheat penny, but it's an Indian. You see the one sitting on the back. You see the date, party Indian right there. You hold it right, headdress. So that's cool. My little teeny thingamajig with fancy on it. Back off here. Zoomed in too much. Some light on it so try to get that so you can see that better there we go it's pretty whatever it is 
Oh, that's a button or whatever, or not really a button, but it goes on something. Yeah, a clue. It's a like an underwear snap. I don't know. Don't look like one to me. But I like a little fancy on it. If anybody knows, I'll put that in the ID forums. A little U.S. pen. Whether it's World War One, Two, Korea, Vietnam, whatever. Who knows? Um, obviously, it looks like it's zinc. It's all fall apart. And the find of the day. The ultimate find. First ever seated coin. And it's my oldest U.S. silver. I have a 1863 Prussian half of a Prussian tether. But this is my oldest U.S. silver coin. 1877 seated dime. Thought I was going to faint. Worn. If it had a mint mark, ain't got a clue. Don't think so. Don't think it ever did. Because I think they're below the reef, I remember. I don't care. Silver 22. And it's a seated dime. I don't care how many silvers anybody gets this year. They, you can beat me. You can do whatever. Roller Jones, you can stay ahead of me. But I got a seated. That's all I care about. I got a seated dime. Thanks for looking and happy hunting. Oh, yeah. One more thing. My wife's been doing etching. She does it by hand. No chemical crap. She's working on some wine glasses with flames. She's going to put these up for sale. And she's got others that she, for family and stuff like that, that she's done. And there's shh, the browning symbol. Shh, don't tell nobody. But <laughs> a couple mugs, those are for a couple nephews. She's got some others she's going to work on. She's been doing a bunch of stuff. Don't have anything in here. She does it by hand. See the flames on it. No chemical crap. Takes her time. And we'll be selling. She takes commission work. And if you want something done, um, let me know. Message me. Or if you'd be interested in these, she'll sell this set for 30 bucks when she's done with it. It's going to take a while to do all the shading in. Thanks for looking. Happy hunting. Bye for now.